yeah, I'm out here on uh, Auger Flats on the Sakandaga River. Never done this uh, paddle before. Uh, I'm not that impressed with it, honestly. I can see why most people don't do this paddle because I mean, I can only get nine tenths of a mile without getting out of the kayak and portaging around a tree, and I wasn't going to do that. I portaged around a beaver dam years ago on the Kunjamonk, and I got soaked, and I don't like getting soaked when out on the river paddling. Uh, and there's, there's also this other low, low tree I had to get under. And there's been some little beaver dams on here, but they're not too bad because they're, uh, they're, because the water levels are high from all the rain we've had. But, I mean, it's still a nice paddle. There's a lot of road noise. That's the other thing that you're not going to like on this. So, I mean, well, it's in the guidebooks, and I'll make a map up of it. I don't know if I would do this paddle again. Even though, as I said, you can get a good hour and a half of fun out of it. And, I mean, I guess if you pour it, you could probably go another mile or so looking for the maps. But, uh, yeah. It's like every other Adirondack Creek for the most part. Uh, uh, most people probably wouldn't even realize you could paddle on the Sakandaga River south of uh, Speculator, south of the Kunjamunk, but you can. There is this little little flat water that's just right north of the uh, Auger Falls, called Auger Flats. And here it is. I mean, it's, it is quiet water. Um, I'm going to try to get, a, get my uh, fishing rod out a little bit and do, try to do some fishing. Or I might not. I'm thinking about going up to Speculator next. Uh, maybe hit the Speculator Beach up and then maybe do some paddling along uh, the Sakandaga River up there where it's really flat water and uh, I can even go down to the Kunjamunk. I don't know if I'll go that far down though.